Who are you? Billy. Billy Atlas, welcome to South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. I have a gift for you. Some vintage 1963 Beatles pins and cards because you love the Beatles. I love, yo, I grew up on nothing but the Beatles, honestly. And those are some vintage pins and as well cards if you open up some vintage Beatles cards from 63, maybe 64. Yo, I was so not alive back then. And I have another gift for you, some Beatles cards from 1978. Oh, wait, what? With the gum still attached. Bro, how do you find this shit? Do not eat the gum, please. Why not? Um, it it's kind of old, <laughs> basically like 40 years old, but there is some Beatles cards as well. I think it's amazing, Billy, that you don't sweat. You don't sweat. <laughs> I don't sweat. Like, nah, I mean, I sweat like under everything, but nobody can see that. Like, I don't sweat on my face. I never like drip anything, but there's some wet shit on the back of me sometimes. Like you've worn ski pants. You don't sweat. What are the tips for not sweating? Because you don't sweat. Um, I think I've just acclimated to being overheated, if that makes sense. Like, I'm just like, if I died, then it would be, I think I'd be fine. Like, even if I, like, died because I was so hot, I'd probably be totally cool. Billy, let's go back to your youth. In love. What? In love. In love. Uh, in love, psych. Nah, but yeah. Well, hold on. No, what the fuck? Are you for real? In love, psych? You are bringing psych back. Yeah, I am. Dude, that show is fucking fire. Could you please explain in love, psych? Um, The little thing I made when I was like nine? What the f Okay, so uh, I used to make movies when I was really little, and they were actually pretty fly. Um, I made like music videos to stuff that wasn't even mine, but... I don't know, I've always liked like directing shit and like bossing people around and stuff like that. But um I don't know. I just like loved this show called Psych, which is about this dude who's like a psychic, but he's actually not, but he is, but he's not. And he has this like partner and he has a really sensitive nose. So like when he smells stuff, he smells it really well. And like I've all I just I've it's <laughs> they call it a super sniffer because he can smell shit from like really far away. I got a super sniffer, you know. I identify with that kid. But that show is fucking fly. And when I was like nine, I was like nine. I made a movie, <laughs> a movie called um, In Love Psych, and it was just so horrible. And I hate that you know what that is. What's totally amazing is you're into dancing. I love the kicks that you do. You're like a serious dancer. Like, no joke. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like a legit dancer. Mm hmm I grew up as a dancer. I never liked ballet, though. Fuck that. Um, but I had to do ballet because I was, like, in the company. So, like, you're forced to make your body look good, and I didn't want to do that. But, um, yeah, dancing was, like, my thing. It was kind of like... I don't know, I've always been a really physical person, so like anytime I feel anything, I just have to fucking move, you know? Like jump around, kick people, like punch people in the dick or something, like that's just how it goes. And then you hurt yourself, that you hurt your hip? Like dancing caused you to hurt your hip? Yeah, dude, fuck. It was, it was. Like how bad is the hip hurt? The hip hurt, the hip hurt was bad. The thing is like, I don't know, bro, I'm like prone to injury somehow. I strained my groin and then while that was healing, I was like, it was about to be like competition season and shit like that. And um, I like pulled my growth plate, which means like my muscles separated from my bone and my hip. <laughs> felt, it felt pretty nice. No, it didn't. And I was taken out of dance and I still haven't danced since then. That was like two years ago. So there's a video of you like climbing bed sheets. That's pretty amazing. Cl oh my God. Yeah. Climb. I mean, bed. I mean, it's called like aerial arts, but fuck it. Climbing bed sheets is like, I mean, that's basically what it is. It's like a big, bright blue bed sheet. The Extreme Training Center. Yeah. The fuck? Um, yeah. The Evolution Dance Center. <laughs> yes. The Evolution Dance Center. Um, yeah, I mean, for like the climbing the sheets, that was... My mom actually used to teach those classes, and we actually like have a bed sheet hanging in my backyard that I used to climb all the time. And a trapeze, man. Fucking... I'm a... Uh, 
genius. No, what the heck is the word? You are Billie Eilish. Oh, wow. Yeah. Billie, who else do we have from the left in the room right now? Like, who is in the room right now? Uh, so my brother is chilling on the floor. My, uh, my manager's chilling on the floor. My other manager's standing right there. Oh, their names? That's Phineas. Say hi. Hi. That's Danny. Hello. That's Brandon. Hello. My mama in the back. That's my mom. And then we got Hannah. And then <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> the Billie Eilish team. Sure. At South by? South. Where? <laughs> Billy Eilish, I was curious. Thank you, Jason Kramer. Yo, thank you, Jason Kramer. That is the man right there. Could you please explain KCRW? I Jason could, Kramer. I couldn't explain it to you. Fucking, I'm like five years old. I was not, I don't know anything about that stuff. But yeah, KCRW was like the, the people and the dude, which is Jason Kramer, who played my shit like first, basically. So that's the man. He's a fucking weirdo. He is a weirdo. But it's amazing he played the song. No, it's, oh my God, it's, I don't even know how he found that, sh how, like how he found it. Like I have no idea because the song that he found that like made me somehow become whatever the fuck I am now, like it was just on SoundCloud. Like there was like a free download link. Like it was, it was just like random, completely random. We actually made the song for my dance teacher because he was like, make a song so I can make it. And so he did. And yeah, KCRW is fucking the man. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Jason. Also, your brother. Let's bring up your brother, Phineas, for a second. <laughs> Over here. What can you say about your brother? Um, this is my brother, Phineas. Uh, he is my best friend. And um, nah, we write everything together. He produces all my shit. We perform together. Um, yeah, he has really smelly feet. What can you say, Phineas, about Billy? Oh, my God. <laughs> I love Billy. She's the best. It's she's my best friend and my sister. It's really wonderful to travel the whole world and make music with her. It's pretty great. And I have a gift for you for caring about your sister right here. A special from Vancouver Doors poster. Oh, this is awesome. Designed and signed by Doors special artist Bob Massey from Vancouver. Thank you so much. It's very kind of you. I have noticed that you love cowboy boots, but you are not wearing cowboy boots. <laughs> um... So he used to sleep in cowboy boots, like in them, under the covers, in the bed, in cowboy boots. It's cozy, yeah. It's like slippers, but, you know, hard and made of snakeskin. It's great. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Wouldn't they be great on stage, though? Like, they would look good on stage. <laughs> you know, Billy has a very uh, succinct vision of what she wants the clothing on stage to look like, and I think I'd be banned for life if I tried to wear cowboy boots on stage at a Billie Eilish concert. I think that would be a, a no-fly zone. You heard him. Well, thank you very much, Phineas. Keep on rocking in the free world and do do loo do Thank you, Nardwar. It's very nice to meet you. What is the Billie Eilish face? Because you have done a special face. There's a lot of pictures with the Billie Eilish yeah. face. What is a Billie Eilish face? Um. And that's it? There's also a tongue, too, isn't there? There is. Oh, recently. That's a, that's a recent added um, attribute. Is that a word? Yes. What does that mean? <laughs> It's very, do people want the Billie Eilish, yeah. like, are people upset when you smile? <laughs> people, I'm upset when I smile. I hate smiling. Like, smiling, smiling is just, like, weak, you know? The thing is that I'm a really smiley person, so when I talk, I just smile, but I hate smiling. It makes me feel weak, like I'm small. And I am, but I don't want people to know that. So, I just don't smile. But, yeah, the Billie Eilish face is basically just, like, you know, like a resting bitch face, but that's just my face, so, like... You also suck in your chin. You suck in your chin, don't you? Like the chin shot. You've done it. But what is a Billie Eilish chin shot? Whoa. Wait, like a double chin? Well, you do. You, you like the chin shot. The chin. You, um, you know, the, the, the chin shot. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. I, um, yeah, no, that's just. I don't know how to. Wait. You got You got to go like. You got to get like all of them. There's like. 
so many of them. Like, my dad can do that shit, like, nice. And let's bring up your mom. What can you say about your mom, Billy? What can my you say mom. about your mom? Yo, my mom has been through me, been with me through everything, dude. Like, this is, like, this is her. This is it. This is the one. She, I don't know. She's, I don't know. She's the best. And the thing is, like, people, sometimes people have asked me, like, do you want a kid like you? And I'm like, no. And I think the reason is because I've seen what I am like to her <laughs> and in life. And I would never want a kid like me. But she takes care of me well. And, and mom, what is Billy like? What is Billy like? What can you say about Billy? Billy is funny and she is independent and very strong willed and she knows what she wants and she has a vision and she's always known like you couldn't put her in a car seat like she had to do it herself she always wants it to be exactly how she wants it just how she sees it she's very creative and she's hilarious and I have a gift for mom right there at Dan Fogelberg LP how do you do this? How do you do this? <laughs> he a genius. I sang Dan Fogelberg at my best friend's wedding at, at 19 years old. Oh my God. Is just based on my age that you knew I would like this? <laughs> well, you are the mom of Billie Eilish. We have to know. But you've had an interesting in your butt experience. A what? <laughs> a what? what? In your oh, in your butt. You mean that? You've done a song with Will Ferrell. That is pretty amazing. Gang, gang. Yes. Will Ferrell and I were in the Groundlings together, and we wrote a lot of pieces together, and one of them was called Band Together, and we were these band geeks, and I played the flute, and Will played the saxophone, right? And we just made butt jokes all the time. <laughs> Well, thank you, Billy's mom. Keep on rocking in the free world and do do loo do. Do 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 yes. do do. What happens after Billy Eilish show? You meet every fan. Pretty much. Um, for like the last tour I was on, it was like every single show. It was like no meet and greets or no nothing like set up. It was dead ass. Like I do the show, I'd go backstage for like two minutes, I drink some water, and then I'd like dead ass go into the crowd, like. Nobody with me. I just sometimes would go alone. Like sometimes I'd open a door into the crowd and then just like be with them, which is like pretty dangerous. I could have died, got shot in the eye or something, but I didn't somehow. And yeah, one time it was like in San Francisco, I think in like October, I stayed like for like three or four hours afterwards. <laughs> like longer than the show. Way longer than like three times the length of the show. So that was. That was insane. I mean, now I'm on tour right now, so like I'm doing sort of a meet and greet beforehand, and then like like a meet and greet. It's like dumb though because I don't want people to have to pay to meet me. You know, like I'm a human. Like I'm equal to every single person in the fucking world. Like nobody's better than me. And I'm not better than anybody else. So I don't think I should be thought of as anything above anybody because I'm not. Like I just want to hang out with people. What about stores, Kit Craft? What about Kitcraft? What have you bought there? Um, what the fuck? Kitcraft? Dude. Um, I've bought like... In Studio City. Yes. In, <laughs> in Studio City. I bought, I'm, I mean, I used to buy tons of shit there. I still go there all the time and buy crazy shit. I got like these, okay, the main thing that's like been my thing is that I used to buy like these packs of little babies and they were like tons of them like thousands of them i just buy all these packs of little tiny naked babies it was so whack and carried them around and i'd chew on them but they were hard so you couldn't chew on them you chewed on them i chewed on them so i just keep like little babies in my mouth it was so weird and i'd keep them in my pockets so like i'd go hang out with my friends and then it like became a thing and like i'd pass babies around it was like hey can i got some babies and i like i pass my babies over and then people, other people would chew on them. I remember somebody stepped on one one time and it broke and I got really mad. And then like I didn't talk to them for like two weeks or some shit. Um, yeah, K-Craft is the man. Billie Eilish, I was curious, what was this era of Billie Eilish no. like? Bye. <laughs> what, what was this era of Billie Eilish like? Could you please explain what is this era like of Billie Eilish? What was happening there? Or what was happening here? 
Uh, this is Halloween, and I was an owl, and um, you're coming back. I'm coming. I'm back. I'm. Ex I'm explaining that I was an owl. You didn't get a picture of the full outfit, but the whole outfit was like really jiggy. Honestly, it took me months and months. I got a full body like black suit, and I got tons of felt. I spent lots of money on felt, and I cut them up every single piece of felt, every single color into this sh that sort of shape, and I glued every single piece. If you knew what it looked like, it was fucking fly. Like I had these wings. I literally had like two poles. I went like this, and then like a whole wing would come out. How long was that to make it? Like four months or something. And um, and then this is like just some feathers I glued on. And then this is, <laughs> I made my hair look like ears, but this one looks kind of ratchet, but this one looks fly. Um, and then I got orange eye contacts. Why should people care about Billie Eilish? Why should people care? I don't I don't know. Like, if you don't care about me, cool. If you care about me, cool. If you want to care about me, I don't know what there is to care about. I got some cool chains. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Billie Eilish. Keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 Pow. Almost, Billy Alish. Do, do, loot, do. Do, do. Ah!